so uh, Santa came early um, as you might have guessed I uh, took the plunge and bought the SDR Play 2 um, and I literally have just got it working about 5 minutes ago and uh, SDR 2 um, the SDR Play 2 just runs on their own software at the moment, the SDR Uno. So I'm just trying to find my way around this. So um, I'm at 7106 kilohertz there on the 40 meter band. Um, I'm just tuning around uh, just to see what I can get. Um, and actually, I don't really know how good or bad the band conditions are tonight. Um, but yeah, it's pretty impressive um, being able to see uh, everything that's out there on the waterfall. Let's see what this peak is here. So that's on lower side band, so if you just follow the cursor there. Um, this is the main control up here, so you can pick AM. Um, I think that's synchronized AM, yeah, FM, CW. That's double side band, so it's on lower side band at the moment. And then you can pick the bandwidths down here. So Let's see if that so I've widened that out there. Let's see if it makes any difference. So up here you have your, I think that's your S meter. You can just select the bands here on these buttons, C160, 80, 40, 30. Um, this is on the SDR Uno anyway. I think that's we're going up into the international bands there. Hang on. Yeah. So I just there, I just flicked from lower side band to, to AM. And again, there's the filters you could broaden that out. There's noise reduction there. A lot of this other stuff I just haven't got to grips yet. Yeah, so it's pretty impressive. 
exteriores del mercado laboral y la inflación, el Comité decidió elevar so. el rango de la tasa de fondos federales a entre. So, this is the thingy itself, the SDR. Sorry, it's so dark here. I just have lights off in the kitchen. Um, I have LEDs under some of the kitchen units and they can cause some interference. So I have them switched off. And I just have this thing for company here. Um, yeah, so the SDR2, there's, there's three kind of ports on it. Um, there's just this... Um, and a standard connector here sc screwing into this port, but this port here is for um, specifically for high impedance um, antenna, uh, you know, particularly for uh, short wave listening, um, and it takes um, an open wire. Um, and that's eventually what I'm going to do is uh, when I get my, um, I'm going to build a doublet. I actually have the mast and the poles, sorry, the poles and the, and the wall brackets and everything sitting in the shed. It's just getting the time to do it. Um, and eventually um, it'll be an inverted V uh, antenna, um, open wire fed. And the reason why I'm building it like that is if I do go ahead and get my license, I'm going to basically build this inverted V um, doublet um, to transmission standards. So at basically at some stage then I'll get an ATU and I could transmit on it as a multiband um, aerial. But anyway, that's not where I am now. So at the moment I just have uh, my long wire antenna out the back. Um, which is about 25 meters long so what's that in old money 75 80 foot um, out the back kind of goes up down all around the place um, and that's what I'm used at the moment so it seems to be working um, quite well well it always did work well really with my even with my old with my Texan receiver, I say old, <laughs> my Texan receiver is not that old, but um, anyway, so ah, the old reliable, there's the buzzer.